Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. Today, we are going to be checking out more popular courses as we normally do. This time it'll be for the last week of popular courses. It's been a little bit since I've last played, so I figured it'd be fun to check this out. Um, and we'll be going through 10 levels as we normally do. There's two Kirby levels. Okay, um, maybe more or less, it depends on what kind of levels we end up going through and everything, because there seems to be a lot of gourmet Kirby races. What's going on with this? And they're all by different people. Actually, no, those two are by the same person. So maybe we'll do a couple levels more than that. We'll have to wait and see, but at least 10 of them. So that'll be a lot of fun. Let's get started with a speed run, keep run. All right, so it looks like we got our starting here, our start here with a speed run level. All right, let's check it out. It's always cool just checking out the popular weekly levels. And I do have plenty of other videos in mind soon. I wanted to do more focused episodes, checking out certain um, types of power-ups. I wanted to do 100 Mario challenges a little bit more. So yeah, I, I'm, go I'm gonna get to it. For right now, we're speed running. Oh my, whoa, that was close. And as per usual, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The main goal here is just to follow the coins. There we go. These are always cool though. Oh no! <laughs> I always love seeing everybody's take on speedruns because everybody's speedrun level is always a little bit different from everybody else's, you know? And that's always cool. So let's try that again. Awesome. Okay, keep running, don't get hit by anything. Okay, not too bad. But now that it has, oh, I'm supposed to hold down there. But now that it's been time for, you know, some of the creators to get a little bit more used to the new 3.0 power-ups, I'm just, whoops, I forgot to hold to the right. Let me just fall. <laughs> but some of the creators have gotten used to the new power-ups that have happened in 3.0. I'm hoping to see some pretty cool levels in the upcoming episodes. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. Alrighty, there we go. Let's keep it moving. Not too bad so far. Now we gotta hold down, that's it. Oh gosh, we're going back and forth. There's a checkpoint though, very nice. So, I guess we're halfway through the speed run. There are booze everywhere, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't even see what's happening. I have no clue. I'm just gonna hold to the right and hope it's working. So far, so good. We're getting all the extra lives we could ever imagine. That was visually terrifying. But anyways, we did it. <laughs> Thank you for the, the fun speedrun novel. So that's the top rated level of the week. Yeah, usually don't we go from 10 to one? I can't remember. We're doing it a little different today because I'm silly. That was still fun for sure. Let's move to the next one now, which is going to be level number two, Flying Koopa Sky. Oh, this looks cool. Alrighty then, so this one only has 41 hearts so far, so I guess we'll try it out and see how it goes. But this looks like it might be a proper like adventure level. It's in Mario 3. And it's sky themed. You don't see too many, oh my. Sky themed, oh wow, I see. Sky themed Mario 3 levels aren't the most common. But it's super tough. Oh, I jumped a little too high for that one. That's gonna be tricky. I can see why not too many people have completed this level just yet. Ah, oh, so it's gonna be about all these precision jumps in the sky. No wrong placements here. Are you just gonna fall on some spikes or fall on a pit? Luckily though, since we're doing it on the core spot, we can try as many times as we need to. But honestly, I enjoy the extra challenge. I, I really need some more practice in Mario 3. I do want to play this game for you guys one day. I need to go back and play all the classic Mario games. If you don't know, my plan with that is, uh, in September of this year, 2020, is the 35th, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, no! <laughs> I was so close, but September of 2020 is the 35th anniversary of the original Super Mario Bros. NES game. So I wanted to do a throwback playthrough of that game in September. And maybe from there on, we can try some of the other classic Mario games like Mario 2 and Mario 3 on the NES. If you guys are interested. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. We're so close to the end. Ah, uh, yeah, we made it. Awesome, I guess we could have gotten some extra one-ups there if we waited for that Koopa. I don't need it. So a very short level, but definitely very challenging. Really fun, I love this kind of concept, because it's not anything too complicated, it's just very, you gotta, you gotta perfect it. So that's always cool. Um, let's keep moving forward. This is evolution of meme music. Sure. So this is a musical level. We'll, we'll try it out. <laughs> I don't know if I should do the, the music levels. Uh, I've never really gotten too much feedback from you guys from it. If you guys like the music levels, we'll keep them in. Because it's not really me playing a level, you know? It's more me just sort of sitting back and watching one. I don't know the song. I think this is Take On Me. That's a classic. That's a really old song now. 
I think this is never going to give you up. Another really old song. I don't know these, like, recently. I haven't listened to any of these songs in a very long time. I know the song. I don't know what it's called. This is Undertale. <laughs> oh, it's a really cool fireworks. I don't know this one. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's like a guessing game. I feel like that's more fun than anything. I mean, obviously music levels are cool, but I like I like sort of me guessing what the music is. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not a big music listener. I know a lot of people really identify with the music they listen to. I just sort of, I, I'm pretty open to that. I have pretty open tastes with music, but yeah, let me know if you want me to start skipping music levels, if they're not just, you know, interesting to see me play, because it'll be just the same if you were just to watch it without me talking, sort of, kind of. I don't know, if, if you get what I mean. Anyways, is this another music level? Is my favorite song from Kirby, Run and Enjoy. Okay, well, since I'm already, you know, dedicated to going through these levels, we'll play through them now, and for every music level I'll play, I'll play an additional actual level. But you guys can give me feedback. As of this episode, let me know if you want to see more music levels or not. But anyways, Kirby music is great, so I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, of course, this is just, what was it? Green screens, did he say? I don't know. Uh, but this is a classic Kirby song. Yeah, ba da ba 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 I need to play more Kirby games, too. There's a whole laundry list of Kirby games I want to play at some point. Is there more? I guess so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ba da yeah, ba da yeah, ba da da I haven't played any Kirby games this year, but last year, of course, I played Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. The year before that, we played Kirby Star Allies. And there's, like I said, so many other ones I really want to enjoy that hopefully we can get to soon. And is it is it just going through the whole thing again? That's a little more complicated this time. Yeah, can I jump and, like, interrupt the music? Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? Oh, yeah! Oh, it's cool that you added the little ending to it. Okay, well, that's that's fun. Right now, you know, we're, we're, we're very um, musically inclined in today's episode, and there's more of that coming up, so that's cool. Uh, it definitely, I can only imagine the amount of work it takes to, to make these levels, so I definitely appreciate that, and good job to the creators. Uh, Rem, Rem's Stage, Comfy Cottage. Come and stop by at Rem's Cottage, your getaway to Super Looney Rem World. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right, but I guess that's, oh, this, this person's named Rem. Okay, so they made their own, cool, cottage. I like it. So, oh, the GameCube music. So it's, it's starting in the ghost zone. <laughs> is, this, is this spelling out welcome? I guess so. So this is like a nice little getaway. We're playing a lot of levels that aren't really, oh gosh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I don't know. Oh gosh. Oh, there's a lot of lemmies. Oh, I see, I gotta hit this, don't I? Did that work? I suppose so. <laughs> but uh, we're playing a lot of levels that aren't like your typical kind of level today. Well, that was quite easy. So I guess this is just sort of some fun little, I wanna even call them mini games, but maybe. Oh no, quickly, oh, was that good? Um, I don't know what to do now. Oh, that's gonna, whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I almost got him. There you go. Weird. It's very colorful though. I do like the use of like the back panels to make like a really colorful effect. The good thing is this level's quite easy so far. So what do I gotta do here? Is there any way to take this guy out? Now I'm over this way. Oh, he's gonna get squished by the block now. And that'll help us get through. But now we gotta run all the way back over. That's it. Okay, one more time. <laughs> a little bit of a lengthy experience. But there we go. I do like the My Sunshine music. Oh gosh, Angly Wigglers. What do I do? Uh, oh, oh, okay, somebody's saying hello. Get, get, get away before Bowser Jr. gets us. Okay, I'll grab that. This is so weird. It just gets weirder with every room. All right. Oh my, watch it, watch it. Don't wanna get hurt by that. There we go. Now there's another one. <laughs> there's really not too much to do here. I'm just sort of waiting around. Okay, now he's gonna go that way. I like this though. It's like some kind of like little, like almost like a pinball machine or something. I don't know. 
This is how it all leads into one thing or the other. So the Goomba's moving down that way. You just sort of get to watch it and let it go. I know I've been to like different places, like museums and stuff, that'll sometimes have like little uh, marble machines where the marble will go through this like complicated uh, thing. I forget what they call that, but this is reminding me a lot of that. Like just all the little rooms we have here. So that's pretty cool. There's like little cool things you can watch unfold. Oh gosh, what do we gotta do about this? Well, that worked pretty well, um, for now. I need another one though. Oh, they're getting rid of all of them. Uh, okay, well maybe I don't have to do much. Ow, whoa, watch it. I don't really know what that's gonna do for me. Oh, I need to hit it, because I already got the key. Yeah, I, I haven't mentioned it, but there are Koopalings running around. Uh, <laughs> they are new to the update. I was hoping to have an episode where we just play Koopaling levels, so if you have any suggestions for any of those, let me know. Uh, but, there we go, there's that level done. That was one of the weirder ones so far, but I liked it, it was cool. So that was level number five. Next up, green greens, oh, okay, a green greens, what was it before? Yeah, it was just green greens. Uh, this one, so is this the same song? Listen to classic Kirby songs in one level. Uh, sure, we'll give it a go. So this is our third, and there should be one more music level. So we'll play up to level 14 instead of level 10 at the least. Run, I'm trying. This is pretty similar to what we heard before. It has a little bit of a different like chime to it. That's pretty cool. Yay! I'm guessing there's a little bit more. That was like the first song. Ooh. Now this song we haven't heard. This is Gourmet Race. Dude, there's a lot of cool Kirby games I haven't even played yet. Like, I've never played Planet Robobot. I've never played Kirby 64. They're on my to-do list, but for sure. I'm trying to get through a lot of the older Mario games right now, though. Yeah, <laughs> I love the little ending jingle for Kirby. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's move to the next one. <laughs> uh, I hope that's it for music levels. I, they were fun, but I've had my fill. Uh, number seven, 50 seconds, uh, lift, run two, hard. Keep run, <laughs> I, will, I will keep running. So this one, I don't know if it's a speed running level as much as it is just a very short, quick level. I guess we'll find out. Oh boy, oh and it's icy too, that's a problem. So yeah, not quite a speed running level, but just a quick challenging level, which honestly, I like the change up, for sure. So let's try that again. Ooh. Oh boy, we're doing it, we're doing it, oh! <laughs> I guess not quite enough. So this one, while it might be a quick level, is gonna take me quite a few tries, I have a feeling. Try that again. Come on, Mario. Timing is the toughest thing about it. I guess you have to do a little mini jump there, which is weird, it doesn't look like it, but I'll try that out instead. Go, 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 go. And I can't waste any time because 50 seconds, remember that Mario time goes by faster than like, oh man, but like to have the coins lined up, it doesn't look like I need to jump, it's so weird. But uh, the timer on the Mario games actually goes faster than like real life seconds. So we don't even have a full 50 seconds here. And trying to jump <laughs> didn't work out too well either. There we go, there we go. Okay, just trying to be careful. Oh man, that's it. Ooh, checkpoint, that's good to see. Gotta run quick. Oh man, the giant bonsai bills are coming for us. Wow, follow those coins. I feel like I'm a little off sync with it right now. Oh, we gotta go back on the falling platform, get another checkpoint, did all that first try. Oh no, oh no, the giant Koopa shell chase, no! Run, Mario! It's slowing down and speeding up though, that's a little weird. Oh my gosh, wow! What an ending! Bouncing right off the shell, over the, the, the buzz saws, and uh, right onto the flagpole. That was cool. Okay, awesome, I'll take it. <laughs> that was a bit of a crazy level, but definitely a lot of fun. Mario Arcade Neo 3, Arcade Neo opened. Let's play six games. I would love to. 
So this is a six game in one. That's a bit of a bundle, a bargain. Link. Oh, do I get to play as Link with this one? That was something I was gonna mention earlier. I really like the Link add-on to this game. And with all of our Kirby music, that's, what do I do? Oh, I see. I have to get rid of the, the Koopas like that. <laughs> okay, that was enough to go through. Good. But um, I would love to see them add Kirby. Bowling. Gotcha. Okay, so what's going on here? I'm over here. If I press this button. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we're only gonna get one pin. That's, I mean, that got us the key. That's good. I guess we were supposed to hit the power block. If we got it dead center, we would have done that. Circus, sometimes it's a little hard to read. Uh, but yep, circus. Oh, we got Lemmy. So what do we do with this one? Oh no, oh no. Um, oh, I'm supposed to bounce off of it. I got it. Lemmy looks so cool in the Mario World theme. So much different than he does in the actual Mario World. Uh, they all sort of look the same in the original Mario World, but this is a lot cooler. There you go. Uh, golf, ooh. See, so yeah, they're all just like tiny little mini games. So, I guess I have to time things. Oh, I see. Whoop, oh no. Can we try again? Do I have to go through the door? I think so, the restart. So, timing this is not easy, but you just gotta get it on the platform and boom. Pretty good golfing. What's going on next? Fighting. Yep, fighting. This is gonna be like boxing. HP is down there. Oh, okay. Whoa. So we're just like doing little things. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, Am I doing it correctly? I don't think so. Okay, that worked, I suppose. Oh yeah, you can see their health bar. Oh, I understand now. Ready? Uh, boom, gotcha. Did it work? I think it worked. That was super duper odd. Uh, Smash, oh, Smash Brothers, interesting. Okay, so, Peach Castle. Peach's Castle? I guess it's Super Smash Brothers on the Peach's Castle map. Oh, I see, and we're, ba we're Mario versus Bowser. That's cool. Um, Problem is I can't just like jump on his head. I gotta use some kind of ability here. And we got this. Ooh, I could have used that too, but this is fine. Whoa, watch it. Ooh, let me get this other fire flower quickly. And then duck under that and then, oh wait. Uh, whoa, <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So now we gotta get down that way, right? To get out of here. That might be a bit tough. Ooh, 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 star power. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Oh my, <laughs> that is crazy looking. There we go, no! Oh man, I almost fell off. Get up there quickly, and then just go through the door. Perfect. <laughs> that was a little crazy. What's going on next? Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, awesome. So there is another level completed. That one was fun. Lots of, of, of abstract ideas there in those six courses, those six little games within it. So what is next? Uh, that was course number eight. Now we have course number nine. It is. Oh no, so another music race thing. Yeah, so we did three so far. We did the evolution, the Kirby, Kirby, and then the fourth one right here will be the third Kirby one. <laughs> my gosh, we might as well do it. Um, one of my favorite Kirby songs, Run and Enjoy. So I think we've already heard this one, but for the sake of just getting the top 10 most popular levels done, I guess, you know, the community had a bit of a vibe for Kirby today or this week. I mean, I don't blame them. They're pretty good songs. At least it sounds a little different. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing it's gonna continue. That's I think the longest you can make one area maybe. Oh, we haven't heard this part. And there we go, we get the little ending chime again. All right, so that one wasn't too bad. Okay, so another music level completed. Hopefully that's the last one for today though. I'm all, I'm all jammed out. <laughs> I just wanna play some normal levels now. 
So what is next? Lots of shorter levels so far today. Hopefully that changes up with whatever this says. It's refreshing. Uh, that's all I can read out of all of this. But a lot of people put it. 36,000 people have completed it. So there's gotta be something cool going on here. Uh, it's 3D World themed. First 3D World level of the day. Okay, so for right now we're just zooming through with the PAL block. Oh, the PAL block's a new ability, by the way, so maybe we'll see some new items today. Oh boy, here we go. Whee! Oh, got a slam. There we go. Oh, we're getting all sorts of power-ups. Boomerang, hammer, Goomba, all of them. What is going on? I guess it's just supposed to be like a really satisfying effect, and it is. This is crazy looking. Wow! That was something else, wasn't it? I was like hypnotizing, but we're not done. Let's keep going. Oh, we're driving. This is like slowing the game down. Oh, let's race all the blocks. And with the sound effects, what is going on? <laughs> I guess refreshing is one way to describe all this. And there we go, we did it. What is with the music? No, Mario! I guess he's okay? The end. That was so weird. The weirdest levels today, I tell you what. What's next? Level 11, 20 seconds, chaotic fireball speed run. Follow the coins and you'll be fine. That's what I'm saying. So finally somebody somebody uh, agrees with me here. I mean, I don't think anybody's disagreeing with me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> just hearing somebody else say it is very uh, validating. So if we just run to the right, oh my gosh. I don't like it though. I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be fooled. Just go down, there we go. Oh my gosh, I, just, I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh. <laughs> that is so cool, but so scary. Glad we got it done on the first try. Wow, what an experience. So that was level number 10. That's normally where we would finish it off, but since We've gotten through so many levels so quickly and most of them were music levels. I do want to, actually that would have been the previous level even. Uh, we're gonna do level 12 now, which is snowball speed run. Throw the snowball. All right, sure. If I have to. There's one Super Mario World. And let's go. Oh, so I, oh, I see. So we've seen these kind of levels with like uh, throwing the shells, throwing the other things. Uh, the pal block sometimes. Now we got snowballs, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't think I've seen it with this. I do, do think that makes it extra slippery though, so this one might be a little bit more challenging than normal. I didn't actually remember that there were snowballs in Super Mario World. Was I supposed to have another one? I suppose so. Uh, what happened to it? I'm not sure. Actually, no, we've seen some snowball levels. We just don't see them too often. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, I didn't have to throw it up like that. Gotcha. Not too bad. I guess I was supposed to do something there. I guess I threw it past the buzz saw, and maybe that would work. Okay, well, let's try again. Pick that up, hit these with our noggin. That's it. Aha, whoa, big snowball. <laughs> that was cool. Keep going. Oh no, I didn't know what was next. For that one, I just need to well time a well-timed throw. That is tough for sure. We can definitely do it though. Boop. Keep it going. Oh, why did I throw that? Whoops. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Just barely timed that run one right. That was scary. So let's just keep going with all this. There's still more. Oh boy. Got it. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, okay, oh my gosh, wow. She's gotta pay attention to the little, uh, like half boxes that they set up. Oh, I don't have to jump those. I can just keep running to the right with those, because they're only one block wide. There we go! Come on, how much more could there be left? That's it! Wow, so six seconds to spare there. That was super intense. Thanks, I love how every level ends with thanks now. <laughs> You're welcome, they're just, it, it's so, it's so full of manners. I don't know, manner? Mannerism isn't the right word. It's just, it's polite. <laughs> Anyways, level 13. Uh, I don't know what this one is, but it looks like to be a very similar level to what we just did before. 
uh, with the with the satisfying one. Maybe it's short and sweet. It's themed. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it looks very similar. Um, whoa, what does that say? Start. I'm starting. So I guess we're slamming. Whoa! Oh my gosh, yeah, so once again, it's one of these kind of crazy levels where visually, it's just wild. It gets more intense as we go farther down. What in the world? These must take so much work to make. It's so interesting. I've never seen levels like these before today. Now we've seen two of them. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. And there's not much to it. We're just moving to the right. We're moving straight down. Okay. Uh, oh, that was it. I was a little confused for a moment, but uh, we got through <laughs> and into the lava again. You're welcome. Was that by the same person? I don't think so. Yeah, that was by a different person. Very similar level though. Uh, so let's see, maybe we'll do two more to finish it off. Uh, Koopalings Battle Castle. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Let's see if we can't see some Koopalings. This is what I'm talking about. I like seeing the Koopaling battles. This one's just in Super Mario Bros. But uh, I guess we're just gonna get through and try to take them all on. But I would love to do an episode where I try to check out Koopaling levels and all of the different Mario themes that have Koopalings. I think it's all but 3D World. Oh boy. So I think for this, we gotta just close these on in on them because that was Larry for sure. There we go. So now with that, we can move forward. Okay, so this is Iggy, I think? He's got the glasses. Was that good? Um. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So actually, we need to set that up like that again. I'll keep that mushroom there. No, okay, until I need it. So we just need him to chill out like that. And then one more time, perfect. All right, Iggy, you're going down. Even though Iggy's normally green, I think that like there's, with the classic Mario game, there was a more limited color palette, and I think they try to respect that in Mario Maker. So that's a quick save right there. We got rid of two Kooplings. And now this is definitely Wendy. Uh, so what do we gotta do with this one? I think I know. Oh, I already wasted my mushrooms though, not what I wanted. Oh, nice and simple for this one. A bit tough to get over there, but we made it. So Wendy's taken down, that's three out of the seven. Now this is Lemmy, my favorite Koopling. What do we gotta do for this one? I think we have to just do that. Was that it? I mean, I guess we gotta do that multiple times. We really don't even need to worry about the balls for that. Ooh, got it. Okay, so that is Koopling number four, three more left. Oh, now we got Roy. Looks like we are doing a little bit of a uh, range battle with him. Got that fireball. Oh, we missed him with that. Oh, but I can hit these pal blocks, maybe. Oh, that worked really well, okay. And then let's just go through the store. Two more remaining, either Morton or, uh, who's the other one that I'm thinking of? I guess we'll find out. It's Morton, okay. Uh, I think there's one more after this, maybe I'm wrong. What am I doing with this one? Hard to say. Oh, I see. I'm trying to make him make fireballs over that way. Well, oh, but he undid it. There we go. So now that'll go all the way up there. Uh, yeah, let's go that way instead. Cause I'm just trying to get to this pal block. There we go. That was cool. And now it's, oh yeah, Ludwig. How can I forget about Ludwig? So charismatic. Oh, I see. Whoa, that's such a cool idea. So he's flying around up there, but we got him. And clear. So there we go, all seven Kooplings taken down, and then we get Mario 2 Mario, which is another one I wanna make a video on. There's so many cool powers I wanna make a whole episode on. And there we go, we win! So that was really, really cool. I love seeing these kind of Koopaling levels because I haven't seen too many of them. Not too many people have been using them for some reason. Uh, but with that done, I uh, will do one more level for today. It is red, blue, red, red or blue team. Mario, you must choose a side. I would imagine he would normally choose red. That's sort of his color of choice. But he also has blue overalls. So maybe whichever one. <clears throat> uh, so here's our boomerang. So now we're blue. Is it, oh, is it sort of just constantly jumping between them? I suppose, maybe. What do I do now? Oh, I gotta throw this in there. 
and that'll get me my key, which I can use to go into there. This level's very calming so far. Huh, so there's that key. We can go back through this way now. And what else can we do? Give that a toss. Perfect. So what are we doing with this one? I guess I gotta get a couple of the coins. There was one, there's another, and there's another. See, this is basically a boomerang level. Pretty cool one, though. Yeah, it's cool because it's it's a cold snow level. But I guess with choosing sides, it really is just uh, doing some different switch things. Oh, can we do this in time? Not quite. Okay, I gotta give it a second. Right about now, maybe? No, that was way too soon. That's gonna be good. Yep, got it. And what about this one? Oh, we get fireball now. Okay. I guess I'm choosing the red side. Really my only option. Uh-oh, going against Boom Boom, but now we're boomerang again. What was the, no, no, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's another one over this way. Let's quickly try to get it. Okay, now he's stuck down there for at least a moment while wow, I was not expecting that kind of trajectory. Oh, come on, really? That was sort of baloney. Oh, now he's invisible. Oh, I'm not ready for that. There we go, there we go, come on. He's gonna start spinning around like a crazy guy again. Oh, he got me. Darn, that's a really tough battle. We'll try that again, it's just, it's so confined and it's so hard to like know exactly where he's going with it. We're gonna try again. Okay, oh my gosh. How do I make that mistake every time? What are you doing? Stop that. So now I gotta get away from him, but also try my best not to. There we go. Okay, try not to get the boomerang though. I wanna keep that. <laughs> that was good. There it is, see ya boom boom. And there we go, red is the team I guess I chose. I don't know if there was a way to choose another one. What does this say? Like, boo. Interesting, so I guess Team Red won. Is it possible to make Team Blue win? I'm not sure. But for right now, there we go. There were 15 popular courses, all of them so much fun. Uh, definitely, I think that Koopaling level we just did was my favorite out of the bunch, but I'd love to hear which one was your favorite. And yeah, it was just interesting having this musical theme. Let me know if you wanna see more musical levels or if you think I should start skipping them. Uh, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.